Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally putting on an air dump kit for you guys, showing you the whole the whole deal, how we do it. And it is like rocket science. Eh, not really. I'm kidding, it's not like rocket science, it's very easy. We actually have the kits now, and they're right there in that box. And they're on the website, semicasualshow.com. You can go there, you can buy it. And when you get done watching this video, you're gonna be like an expert master mechanic. You can probably get a job at any Peterbilt dealership in the country just by knowing how to do this. Yeah, not really. Okay, I'm kidding about that too. So anyway, uh, we're just gonna put the air dump kit on. We're gonna show you the whole thing. It's super simple. If we do it together at the shop here, we've done a lot of them. We probably get it done in about 40 minutes. Um, if you're doing it at home, it might take you a couple hours. Maybe let's just call it two hours, two and a half if you really took your time. Um, we're gonna show you all the tools you need. We're gonna open up this kit. We're gonna show you all the pieces and then show you in detail how to put it on your ride. And it's gonna take us probably all day. No, a couple hours. Couple hours. 45 minutes. Maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. All right, I'll pull the camera up, guys, and just uh, show you the whole deal. All right, we're going to start off with the tools here. So we got a mini impact gun. You can use hand tools, but we have mini impact guns. That's what we're using today. Uh, mini drill or big drill or whatever you want to use, but this drill works the best for the job. And we got a quarter-inch drill bit in that guy. Uh, then we've got this little baby ratchet with an eighth inch um, little guy on there, adjustable wrench. And then you're gonna have a 7 16 a 9 16 a three quarter, an 11 millimeter, and a 12 millimeter wrenches. You're going to need some uh, of this stuff here. You put this around the things and when you screw them together, it makes them not leak. And they call this pipe sealant. Um, finger cutter offers 5,000. Also, uh, what, are they, what else, what is this actually technically called? I call them razor cutters. I think that's what it's called. I'm not really sure. Razor I cutters. Like your, you I like, like what the you call them. finger cutter offer 5,000? Yeah. That hurt. Um, and then just a pair of little zip tie cutters. Um, and that's, that's, all the, that's all the tools you need uh, to do the job. The next big part is, what's in the box? Okay. So we've got a parts list nice. with all the parts and pictures. We've got a bag of fittings and bolts with everything you need in there. So that's all the fittings, all the uh, Y connectors, everything you need there. All More fittings. Fittings in your solenoid. Yep, the solenoid here. This little guy, when we get into explaining this, this thing's super cool. Um, whoa, dropped it. That is, uh, if, you, if this dude ever failed right here, you can use this to uh, keep you going down the road, no problems at all. And uh, pretty neat little fail safe we came up with for this setup. And they also have a manual uh, button on here. Yep. So if it ever fails, you can always do this and it'll still drop also. Okay, that's cool. I did not know that until you just told me that. That's okay. cool. Learn something every day. So we got zip ties. You'll get about, in the kit, you'll get about 20 of these zip ties, depending on how much you like zip tying things up. Maybe you want more, but 20 should get the job done just fine. Wire. So that's just wire. two, uh, that's just two wire um, in, a, in a sleeved deal. 16. 16 gauge. Yeah. And you're going you're gonna to use this. This is what's going to connect uh, this guy to your switch if you're doing this to an electric switch. Plenty of airline. It's about 20 feet. 25 foot. 25 foot, yep. Quarter inch. Two pilot valves. I got that right this time, right? You did, they're pilot valves. Okay. Those guys, then we got bracket. Bracket for your electric solenoid. Yep. Hold it wherever you want, firewall. So these are pretty cool too. So we actually, um, before we send these things out, we we'll, um, we tap these so that the this this guy will screw right directly onto it. Um, you don't have to bolt through or anything like that. Um, and also note these brackets when they come in the kit will be powder coated black, so you'll have all of that. And the coolest thing in there yet. The best thing. Semi -casual, semi casual sticker. Yeah. Before we start the whole install on the truck, um, we're gonna put it on this truck today. Um, before we do that, let's walk over and show them the other truck because we've already done a whole kit. We can walk around, show the deal, and yeah. then um, and then start on it here. 
All right. Basic idea. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go over the kit already installed. You'll notice on this truck, there's two of these guys here, and that is because this truck has a lift bumper. So our actuator here is for the lift bumper, and this actuator here is for our air dump kit. And uh, you can see, you've got your air lines. Let me zoom in a little bit here for you. So you've got your air line coming in. You've got your other one going out to your bags. You've got your on off switch right here. Um, and then it's wired. We'll widen back out. It's wired, it runs down the firewall and over to that corner and goes in behind the dash and you hook it to your electric switch back there and that's just where you're, you're gonna run all that. Then, uh, so your airline basically runs straight down, goes down here in the frame, you see it tied up there, comes out. And then we hook all this stuff up here to our pilot valves. So we've got a pilot valve on each side and then they Y together and run around the other side of the truck here. The two pilot valves Y together uh, underneath the truck, and uh, that's what connects them both. And then you got your other pilot valve there. And then uh, again, our electric line goes right through into here and, uh, and into the dash. So um, pretty simple setup. It doesn't take all that long. I know the video might be a little bit long because we're trying to explain it in like pretty good detail, but when you get done watching this video, you should be able to put this air dump kit on your truck relatively easy. So now we're going to get all of our little deals out of here. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five Ys. You've got four of these guys. This quarter inch. Yeah. Four quarter inch 90s, two eighth 90s. That is a 38 and one 3 8 90. You've got a 3H, a half to 3 8 Or 3 8 to half. Three eighths to half uh, a plug, and that's a quarter plug. You've got your bolts and your two screws for this guy. But first things first, we're gonna go ahead and put the pieces we need in here. So after we get all these tightened up, you've got a, uh, it'll look like that. Your small ones on the top, mediums are over here. Your bigger one goes into that guy. All right, so this is how your actuator is gonna be set up. You're gonna take your two uh, brass deals here, which have like uh, little screw-ins. Here you can kind of, that's just like adjustment. Um, then you're gonna take your shutoff valve, you're gonna put that on P. Uh, under the shutoff valve, you're gonna put your uh, push connect uh, fitting here. On A, you're going to put your plug in, and on B, you're going to put your other uh, quarter inch airline push connect in there. Um, tighten these down so that they're uh, snug and don't leak. And then on, make sure on your um, your plug here and these two guys that you put your uh, your pipe sealant on them, and then just get them nice and snug. That way you don't have any air leaks. You'll also need to put some sealant on your valve right here and uh, make all those tight and you'll be ready to mount it to, from there you're gonna mount it to your, uh, your bracket and then put this on the firewall. So the next step in this whole deal is we're gonna mount our bracket. So Shock's gonna take this bolt out right here. Now you can do a couple of different options. If you find somewhere else you want to mount this, there's no right or wrong place to put it really. Like I was saying, there's no right or wrong place to put this. Uh, we've just found this works the best on these. And from here, you're going to take, we're going to put our actuator on there. Again, we already thread these before we send them to you. So you can just set it right up there and, uh, Put it right in. Another note here on this, um, it doesn't hurt to put a little bit of Loctite on there. Um, you can just run some blue Loctite. It's probably never gonna come off, but if it makes you feel better, you can put some Loctite on there. 
Um, another thing you can do if a person felt uh, unsafe about this thing falling off or some kind of an issue there, you could even just run you a zip tie around this edge right here and, and kind of hold it in place as another fail safe if you were ever really worried about it. But um, just depends on, you know, I guess how concerned you are about this coming off. But it, just like how Shock just did it, you're probably never gonna have an issue with it. <clears throat> so now we're gonna hook up our supply which is uh, pretty simple. Where do we got our lines and oh, any cutters? Got them. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the tank under the door. We'll drain it first. Drain it. Yeah, it would, uh, it would probably suck to start taking that out with yeah, <laughs> all the air in it. There. All right, so once you pull that out, then you're gonna put this guy in there. There you go. Again, too, with these when you're putting them on, don't over crank them. You can, you can turn that thing to the, to the point of no return and then you've got a bad day. There you go. But, all right, so that's in. Now we're gonna cut our line and run the line up to our supply here, which that's gonna be the P. Plug it right into the P. So you can run this straight from here. You can come right down and you, we got zip ties in the kit. You can zip tie it, follow all these air lines directly under here, go straight back through there and it'll drop down and plug in right here. You'll probably put one more zip tie up under here somewhere just to kind of keep that taut so it doesn't move around too much. And uh, I don't know, about three zip ties into it and you're ready to roll. Airline is complete. So to show you how we ran this, it's uh, plugged in right here again on the P and that's going down to your air tank. And we just zip tied it right along here, went under the cab, um, we've got a zip tie here holding it up this way and then right into the side of the tank Let's see if i can get the camera in here let's kind of show you this deal there we go so that'll give you an idea that's the that's what you're looking for um and now that we've got our supply line to this done we're going to go ahead and we're going to drill our holes and mount our pilot valves on each side all we're going to do with these valves is set this guy in here like so and um, it fits, so you're gonna put three bolts holding the pilot valve on because in between this crease here is where your other bolt hole is. You're never gonna get that in. Um, three of these holding in just fine. You'll set it down. The way I like to do this is just set it where I want it right here. Um, I mark it, uh, drill my first hole, stick a bolt in it, and I just drill the other two holes with this thing in place and uh, stick the bolts in and move on from there. So uh, we'll do that real quick on both sides. And then we will start running our airlines. All right, so we got our pilot valve mounted. You've got your in out up here. At the bottom, we've got uh, suspension communication. And then you've got your center one right here, which is basically like what talks to the uh, pilot valve, tells it to open and close. And that one will run up here and be connected to the B. We actually Y the two, these two together into one and then, then it goes up here to B, which we'll show you. But essentially now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take both of these guys off right here, put a Y to a single um, airline, and we're gonna put it into suspension communication. Then um, from there, we're going to take and do a single to a Y, and it's gonna run around and connect back here to your leveling valve. Um, and it's about that simple. 
we'll uh, walk over here to the other side of the truck real quick and show you what it looks like once you're all done. <clears throat> so again, this guy is gonna go up under the truck. We basically just follow all these lines over here. We put a Y underneath the truck and then connect the other pilot valve. So it'll be two and then the, the single will go out and connect over to our actuator. Um, and then you'll see here, let me widen the camera out. So you'll see here where our leveling valve was. We took our two airlines, we came around, connected them to this Y, and then right here to the top on the in out. So then you go down here to the bottom. Again, we've got another Y right here. So you got your two airbags now connected to your su suspension communication. I don't know why it's hard to say. Suspension communication. You never touch the one on the top. That one always stays there. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go do that on this other side right now, and then after we're done, we'll run our. Uh, what should we call that? Like it goes to the that airline would just be the signal. Signal. signal yep. Yeah, signal line to the uh, over here to our actuator. So now, whoa, we've already done this side. Now we'll go over here and do the driver's side. Okay, so we're getting ready to start doing the airlines. You'll start out with cut you two short um, deals in the airlines. That is going to, that is so that you can connect it here and then connect your Ys. Um, you may adjust, you know, however long you want this to be or however you want to go with it. But uh, generally just start with those two and your two Ys here. There you go. And we'll put them on real quick. And I guess it's personal preference. If a person does it, wants them a little bit longer, you can make them a little bit longer. You don't have to make them super close if you don't want to. Um, we just generally kind of keep them nice and tight. There you go. So now our in out's got a Y and our suspension communication at the bottom's got a Y. Then I'm both around that way. And now we'll start. Another thing to note too, once you start unplugging these airlines, uh, from the leveling valve, um, if your air is not already out, it's going to come out real fast. So um, just keep that in mind. We've already done that when we did the other side, so all the air kind of already came out of it. All right, there we go. So now we got both airbags plugged into suspension communication. Now we're going to take our two lines, connect here and over to our in-out port. This is where having the cutters makes it a lot quicker and easier. You don't have to take them back off and try to use a straight razor blade and set it on the floor and cut it. The there you go. So now the next step to this whole deal is we're going to start connecting that guy, our communication airline. Um, so what we do on the communication airline is we'll plug it in here. We'll go under, uh, we'll follow like where our airlines are already going. We'll go under the truck. We'll have a Y. And so we'll connect both of the pilot valves together. And then a single line will go back up the frame this way and come back over here and plug into B. So now that both our pilot valves are all set up, we're going to start running our airline over to the front of the motor there and uh, put our Y in. So I'm just, I just take all the leftover that I've got left right now and I'm just going to follow around this way. And then once we get all this together, we'll actually kind of zip tie it up, hand this down there to shock there. There you go. Pull out whatever you need. So you pull that. All right, that's good there. Okay, so we've got all the plumbing, everything zip tied up together. I'm gonna show you guys this. So now um, what we're gonna call is our signal airline uh, that goes in the center of the pilot valve is now ran, it runs down along this way. This one goes back forward to the front of the truck 
and there's a Y there, which I'll crawl under and show you in just a second. Um, and then from the Y on the front of the truck, it comes back up this way and goes over and we've got it plugged into the B. And so I kind of just came down, you can see it right here. Uh, and just, I kept it nice and tight against the frame rail in here, um, out of the way of rubbing on anything. And then just came up with this bunch of stuff here and zip tied it up and then over and it's connected to our air actuator right there. Everything's good to go. Now I'm gonna go underneath the truck and show you where the Y is and kind of how that was ran. All right, so under here you can see, these are our airlines running over here. So you've got your Y, one of them's running back over to the B on the actuator. One of them is going, this one here is going over to the passenger side of the truck. Um, and it's just zip tied up right there and it just follows along all this stuff here. Um, and pretty simple deal. That way you kind of understand how that works. And we're just basically tying both of the um, pilot valves together so that when you flip your switch inside the truck, it uh, actuates both valves to open or close, uh, therefore moving the truck up and down. The other thing to show you guys in here is these are our wires, we've got them ran and they go up into the dash and we've got them wired to a switch. We didn't go into any real big detail here because uh, everybody's gonna do it different ways. I mean, you could put your own switch in there and hide it somewhere or something. You could, there's a lot of ways. You just need power to that guy and uh, in an on off position switch. Um, so being that there's so many different options of how you could wire up an on off switch for this kit, we left that alone, let you figure that part out. If you got all this done, you can clearly easily hook up a air or an electric switch for the air dump kit somewhere in the dash, wherever you want. But we wired it in. We actually, let me show you how we go here. So we took, we went across over to the passenger side with our wire. And uh, it runs all along here and it comes in right here, basically on the inside of the truck. Then all you're gonna do is take your glove box out you can pull your wire over and carry it on down the, uh, the dash there to a switch or wherever you want to put it. Uh, real simple, real simple deal to run that wire. It doesn't take but just a minute and you hook it up to your switch and everything works. All right, now we're going to show you the air dump deal. Go ahead. It didn't work, did it? Uh, why is it not working? Uh, because I shut the valve off over here. Flip the switch again. You can hear the thing trying to go. So this is what we're talking about, this fail safe we put on there. Because this is uh, closed off, this now keeps all the air in the factory set up and it works like normal. But when I flip this forward, what's gonna happen is now he'll have the ability to uh, use the air dump switch. And now, go for it. There you go. And the air is dumped out in the truck. It'll sit, uh, it'll sit like this until you flip the switch back uh, the other direction and the truck will then raise up and everything works as the factory intends it to in terms of uh, your ride height and your leveling valves and all that stuff all still functions. And um, again, you got a pretty cool fail safe on here. Um, I just, I don't know. I think it's an awesome setup. It's easy to do. Uh, we made an entire video which of doing the install, which takes way longer. And that took me and you about, what, three hours to do the video of doing all this? Yeah. And dragging things out and figuring out all that and... A couple different takes. A couple different... <laughs> Makeup. But if, uh, if, if me and Shock just went to go do this by ourselves and we weren't filming anything, we we're just doing our parts, we, we can do it. We can get it done in under an hour. So uh, super cool kit, go to semicasualshow.com and you can get one for your truck today pretty sweet all right guys that is it for the video air dump kit is installed everything is done it's super smooth easy deal you guys can knock this out at the, your shop or your house your driveway whatever pretty quick and easy um again you only need a few things that you would should have in any shop with just some electrical connectors and some uh, pipe sealant um, otherwise everything else in the kit is there and ready to go. If you want to buy this kit, go to semicasualshow.com, uh, go into the shopping thing. We got a thing for parts 
and you'll have the air dump kit and uh, you can get that. We'll ship it out within two to three days. So uh, hope this is helpful. If you buy the kit, let us know in the comments. Uh, did you do the install? Was it easy? Did we explain it good enough? And is there anything else you'd like to know about this setup that we could maybe do in the future to make these videos better for you? Uh, otherwise, uh, the little bell button, you got to do the bell button, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Semi Casual Show, and uh, we'll see you on another video. Later. Later.